as you can. Alright, so look left. Yeah, you need to go down that way. Here you go. Why they're doing some weird movements? I'm watching it from your screen. Oh boy. I mean, you're you're almost at the exit. She's not looking very hot, though. Straight ahead. That way, right? Don't forget to dash. This way, though, right? Yep, yeah, that way, though. See me right down there? I'm way down there. Let's run! Thank you, Dan Gilbert. I'm gonna do what we're doing. I want to see if I can. The disease still persists. I will cut it. Match in the gas tank. Boom, boom. I think you're dead, dead. Mm-hmm. Are they going to be hostile towards me? That's the thing I want. The mage is hungry again. Fate, dost thou require a new ally? Oh, then thou must return with the proper payment. This is the price of battle. Well, count it. Lay down, be good. Doom and dusk, I strike thy name from the archives. Right. My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. Thank you. <sighs> Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. 
might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. Oh, who are you? What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. And what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The Lady of Mysteries. The Goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse. Oh, he, um, my lover. he banged the goddess. Oh, yes. We enjoyed <laughs> each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Something the Mistra. Go ahead, on yours. Oh, he's still talking on mine, apparently. I sought to cross her boundaries. Keep going with you. Maybe let me finish mine. I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. I swore my ambition was only to serve her better. But she only smiled and told me to be contented. Inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess, and yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. And he almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured, then shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms. Until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book. Netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? Hmm. I guess you ruled out flowers and chocolates altogether. You know me. My gestures can never be grand enough. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. Nanny? You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in, into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread moon, a book bound and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pulses its teeth. It's claws. It's unstoppable as it digs through a 
and becomes part of you. And gods is it ever hungry. He took that piece of weave that's been forbidden, and that weave literally devours magic. Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. The bluey? I will erupt. Like I said. I don't know the Fashion exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies mm -hmm. of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. Mm. Every waking moment. Every dreaming moment, too. But there was no way out. All of this. It must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. Mm -hmm. From all Eventually, what we will have to do is do like we'll I have to rotate you. them out so we can do their I side stories because some of them we have to take them to do if stuff. You stand yeah. against me. I'm humble. If him. you stand with me, either way, I mean, I will we do started my best with her as well. Not to let you down, and then we switched it. At a things precipice. Back. But if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now. That's how I got Even to I am the tired of the sound of my own voice. Us. Let us venture forth. All right, you can do yours now. Knocking boots. <laughs> mm hmm. Knocking boots. I don't think so, but you're sweet to ask. Maybe. Just be patient the next time you see me wince or cry out. It'll pass quickly enough. It always does. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would I not be for me to went. question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. Yeah, go with that one. I know. I felt it. Yes. No. I don't know. The artifact seems to have powers and a will of its own. It protects us. I don't know how or why, but I'm glad. I felt it go from me to you. You need its help just as it needs us. It's still just a box after all. Hmm. Interesting. Might not be possible. It's stubborn that way, prone to lashing out. Keep it for now. Box lash we out. can all help to protect it. Interesting. Mm -hmm. You want to talk to your uh, new guy right there? Talk to the vampire, see what he has to say. Do you mind? Need something? Go talk to any of the doctors in their TARDIS. 
Ha. Ha. I get the reference. <laughs> I was going to say TARDIS. <laughs> I get the reference. Yes, my friend? Not yet, I'm afraid. I'm but my expect. We're going to leave him. <laughs> oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. You gonna grab the uh, mage guy? Yep. I'm thinking about switching out. Cause that's that's our druid. We haven't taken our druid out either. Where are you at, my dude? He is to the left over here. Down to the right. Right, right, right. Left. Up. <laughs> that way. I'm guessing, right? Yes. Yeah. That way. I've heard. How can I help? You picked up a squeaky ball. <laughs> uh, I've heard Bard is a good class. With pleasure. Lead on. All right. Let's uh, leave camp. Oh, he's leveled up. I forgot. We've left him alone there for a while. Ah, excellent choice. Uh, there. Well, you got to leave first, I think. Oh, wait. You're on Foxy. That's why there's no level. Oh. No, you're on him. So, hey, wait, wait, hey. What? There we go. Okay. Product. Poison spray. Dropping grass. You got, that's probably got to be close blade ward. Interesting. Friends. Interesting. Interesting. Right, me. Huh. Yeah, but you got you gotta also look yeah. at like um Aww. You gotta look at like how long it's uh like the requirements of the actual spell itself too. I mean, you already have lightning with yourself, with your attacks, is it that charge ability? What about, what about the, like the ass, uh, this one here or that one there? I don't know which one though. Throw a bobble of acid that damages each creature it hits. A bubble. Bobble? Bobble. Not a bubble, bobble. Bebo bobble? Prevents the target from healing until your next turn. An undead target re receives disadvantages. That's poison. Necrotic ones are insane. I guess we could go into the, the bone chill. Left one more. If he's saying necrotic is good. Things really do sound like clickers. That one. See? Necrotic. Okay. Oh, now I got two spells. Okay. Arcane lock. Ooh! That's actually good. We kind of do need that. Because that, that is something, like, because there's magic locks that I can't pick. Um. 
Huh. Mel's acid throw, third row, second in. Yep, acid arrow. Oh, that does look good. Select a feat. Ability improvement, dual wielder. What is elemental adept? Your spells ignore resistances to a damage type of your choice. When you cast spells of that type, you cannot roll a one. So meaning you can't crit miss. Mix that with as acid. Uh, so basically go with like uh, elemental then and select uh, like acid or necrotic. Ooh, hold on. Can you go back up? going a little bit more magic and in initiate you learn two cal traps and one level one spell from the wizard spell list you can cast one levels one you can cast a level one spell once per long rest your spell casting ability for all spells is intelligence hmm. age slayer eh. lucky I think the elemental adapt is actually probably be good. I mean, we're all learning at the same point. Acid. So probably either yes, yeah, acid, because I don't see necrotic on that. And um, Mage armor is still good. Um, all right, so why don't we get rid of grease, put in magic lock for that. What's this one? Blindness, that's actually really good. We still need to, we need to start using spells. Aww. What's Aww. this one? Thunder wave. Let's get rid of that and do with the acid arrow. For now. We'll eventually get more slots, I hope. So that's progress. So go ahead and leave camp. Let's see what happens. Go ahead. I'm listening. Oh. Yeah, leave. Leave the conversation and then leave camp. Okay, you're not aggressive here. Uh, thank God. All right, uh, we have, we're gonna defeat the Draugr intruders. And we're going to find, we found the missing boots. So I guess we need to do that first. Let's give the missing boots before we start attacking the Draugr. Where do we gotta go for the boots? Watching us play. Okay, that's too <laughs> cute. All right, so we are going to go back down here to the beach. We can actually fast travel down here. Wanna go to the beach? Yeah, we're going to go into this village. It's right down here. Yep. So A, I'm gonna give the boots back. Uh, where, who, 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 what, where, when? 
do I who do I give the boots back to? Do I actually take the boat over? Oh, I'm scared. The craft is ready to sail. Uh, sail into the darkness. Let's see what happens. It just saved. Okay. Um. You! What are you doing on Getraft? I was on it with you in it. Yeah, I noticed that. Gek, who are you? Well, I'll be. You got them? The sergeant's been whining non-stop. What about Gek? Where's he at? <laughs> More like avoiding the sergeant, I reckon. Come on. Let's get you to shore. You're the one telling the sergeant what happened. The rest of you, keep patrolling. I'll be heading back with this one. You continue forward in silence until the lights of a camp twinkle through the murk. want to kill them. I just wanted to return the boots. Okay, go pee. When you come back, I gotta go pee. Hey there, Midnight. I plowed sideways. We got a welcoming party. Uh oh. Time you showed up, we got trouble. <clears throat> Spit it out. Sergeant finally choked on true soul near's prick. Drug no. The twat soul caused a rock fall. Trapped tighter than a ring on a fat finger. You're shitting me. You pay up? That's the trouble. He's got the gold on him. Sergeant's arm is falling off with all the gnome slaves she's been beating. Who's the hoon, Greyman? Another slave for the dig. Warlock Necro, I've heard, is actually good as well. That's so. I... You feel the slightest of stirrings in your head. The Dwergar is not infected, yet your minds resonate. Oh, I'll be... You ain't shitting. Felt the tingle. Your twat soul chum owes us a load of coin. You want through? Make a donation. Unclog your hole. Just shitting around. But I'm warning you. That twat soul ain't settled up soon. There'll be hell to pay for the lot of you cult buggers. <laughs> 